We don't own the rights to this music. We don't own the rights to this music. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope y'all enjoying y'all Wednesday. Hope y'all had a blessed Wednesday. I didn't want to blast the music too loud because, you know, I got the jar on. So you see the topic today, the topic is toxic fars. Ooh, what is fars? We'll get into that a little bit later. I just made something up for you guys, but we'll get into it. Hope y'all having a great Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in on Marriage Porn on Instagram. Thank you for tuning in also through Zoom, YouTube. YouTube got a little bit of lag on it, but it's okay. We'll get it right. We'll get it right. So, um, as the wife is getting prepared to come into the session, which she's kind of going to be caught off guard a little bit because I got a little bit of notes on this one right here. And she had a doctor's appointment, so she's feeling okay. She's all right. But I know she'll bring her energy once she come in. I give her that good vibe. She'll vibe off of me a little bit. And maybe it'll make her feel a little bit better, right? Give her, transfer my energy to my wife when she gets ready. But yeah, guys, I hope y'all had a great Wednesday. Wherever you checking in from, go ahead and put that on the chat. If you checking in, we're definitely right here in the ATL. So, we're going to get into this topic just a little bit in a little bit. Again, I don't own the rights to this music. This is going to be a great topic to talk about because I know this could be affecting your marriage and this could be conflicting with your marriage, right? So, toxic fars, right? And what FARS is, I'm going to go ahead and just explain to y'all, right? So toxic FARS are, it's the acronym for Toxic Friends Associate, right here. What you looking for? Oh. Oh, it's gray. No, you're fine. Toxic Friends Associates Relatives and Spouse. Right? So, with that said, we're going to get into this in just a second. Wifey's on the way. You know, I don't want to wait for her, you know, for us to get started in this because, you know, I love having my counterpart to have a great discussion about this. And she really can relate to this topic just because of the fact that this happened to us numerous of times in our relationship. And that's what I like to tell you guys about. How this happens numerous of times. And then she'll say something like, see how they got us arguing? See how they got us conflicting? Let me see. Should I move this over a little bit, baby? Okay. She'll say something to that, certain, to that extent. See how we let that little bit of disagreement that we had cause something, some type of riffraff in our relationship mm. or disagreement. Mm. Now we both arguing, right? And they ain't even they, they ain't even dealing with it. And we dealing with the consequences of arguing with each other because mm. of something that we didn't discuss that then spilled over into our relationship and we don't agree on. Now we the big subject. We the big topic, right? Mm-hmm. Toxic what? I put FARS. F A R S. And so when I put that, because the reason I said FARS, because the, the acronym is for friends, associate, relatives, and spouse. And I put toxic FARS because this is something, if they're that toxic, mm. you want to keep them far away. You were trying to rap or something? No. Wait. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you're doing? Yeah, I would just keep a little funny little acronym for it. 
can. I have a couple of notes that I went over. Mm -hmm. Doing your short real quick. Yeah, my makeup was in my car, so I got used to whatever I have in the Damn, bathroom. You look beautiful all the time. Not in the mood, guys. <laughs> Not in the mood. Look, she hair. she got the hair up. Mm. But I gave you you had a little power nap, right? Ten minutes. A little ten minute power nap. Get it back right. Still not right all the way though. This guy is so amazing, guys. Yes, Happy he is. To our live right now. Check us out. So, look at you. <sighs> So beautiful. Oh, you smelling good. Oh, you got on the Jimmy Choo Choo. Am I going to get some? Look at that. Look at that. That that will make me feel better. Look, her number one thing right there, boy. Mm. You got the Jimmy Choo Choo. What that mean? You want the chewing <laughs> on oh. the beaver ruin. Mm, really? <laughs> she was at Looking for boy. the chewing on beaver ruin. Brandon knows how to make me feel better. Just mention anything with his D or tongue and I'm good to go. Look at that. That wife is <laughs> something else. He gets me excited and happy. That's all. Oh, makes my day. Anyways. Um, what the hell you got going on here with this stuff? This is my girl Carol G from Medellin. Oh. She lit. She just did a video with Shakira too. Ooh, baddie. Look at this baddie. Carol G. Ooh. She is the bomb.com. Anyways, that's my girl, Chimba Chimba. All right, All right. Girl. You ready? You ready to get into this thing? I'm just here listening along. Okay. You know what? I love it when she's here because this is how I get her involved into this conversation, right? Um, just so, back a little bit. You're like all up in it. I'm all up in it. You want me to slide back like that? Am I good mm -hmm. now? Yeah, I'm up right now. Okay. Because your forehead looks funny. All right. There we go. Shiny. Shiny. Yeah, you put oil? No, I didn't put no oil. Oh, okay. Nice. So, let's go over. Mm, I don't know what he's talking about, y'all. Just want to let you guys know that he did all this on his own today. I'm so proud of him. Yes, he is. It is so proud. So, let's go over it. Like I said, we're on Facebook right here on Jen's Facebook. It's called Toxic Fars. I don't know if she put the topic on there. Yeah, put Toxic Fars in All right, so Toxic Fars is toxic. Fars, like that's so funny. It is funny. Friends, associates, relatives, mm -hmm. and spouse, right? Now, let's just go over the definition of toxic Start to start this call off with, right? Mm -hmm. So, the first definition, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, was it on? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, but is that oh, it's already right. Yeah. Okay, so, just with the first definition of toxic, right? Mm -hmm. Baby, you out of this camera view right here. So, toxic. Being poisonous. Uh -huh. Right? So. Why am I not in this camera, right? It's just moving so it's got the lag. Well, I'm all the way over here, though. Uh -huh. I'm trying to make sure I'm in there. See, see there you go. This camera. Okay. There it goes. Scoot that way. Okay, go ahead. So, I'll fix it. so the first definition is being poisonous. Mhm. Mm fix it which way? That one. To the right, right here. To you, yeah. She's because it's, it's, it's looking at all my belly right there. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So being poisonous, right? Mhm. Mm the capability of causing. Serious death or debilitation. Mm -hmm. That's one definition of toxic, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to go over these because I want to see how this can correlate with your friends and your associates and your relatives mm -hmm. and spouse. The second one is inhibiting symptoms of infection. Exhibiting. That's what I said. To inhibiting. Uh, infect, it, infection, right? The third one is extremely harsh, malicious, and harm or harmful, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And then the last one, the fourth one, is relating to being an asset that has lost so much value that it cannot be restored. So, which one are we going to talk about? So, we're just going to go over, you know, just remember my legs are cramping up. Okay. So, how can a friend... Is these right here? Yes. 
How can a friend, which one, which one you see more correlating with just a friend, associate, or relative, or spouse? I think that's extremely harsh, malicious, or harmful. Right. That's the one you resonate with? Yeah. Okay. And or, or even poisonous. That's the one I kind of... poisonous is like... It's like... Like if you eat some... Like if, let's say you touch a... A leaf. What's that leaf? Poison ivy. Yeah, it's like you touch it, and it could be like the smallest touch, but it goes all over your body. And it creates bad, ugly looking things. A rash. Yeah. So I'm talking like with this, it could be just you could have that one three second conversation with somebody, and it could be deadly. Right. So I'm gonna go with a friend, right? Mm-hmm. So I I said as far as a friend. How can a friend be really toxic and yeah. this can be affecting your marriage, right? Uh oh. Jesus is back. Exactly. <laughs> Jesus so, is back. So, I said they could be a bad influence. Mm -hmm. And how could that friend be a bad influence in your marriage? What ways do you see a friend being a bad influence in your marriage that is toxic? Hmm. So, <laughs> go ahead. Is it like a married friend or not or what? Like what type of friend we talking Either about? Either or married or. Well, I think there's two different types. I think there's that single friend that is way too over the top, living his best life, being a thought. Being single. Being more than single. Mm hmm Cause they're single and then there's more than single. Yeah. And that's that's not, I don't and you could be with a single friend, but you not with the more than single friend. Mm hmm Cause the more than single friend might want to include you in these extracurricular activities Correct. and i think the thoughts and the words that maybe he he or she might say to you can maybe get the spouse in a different level that he or she wouldn't normally be on mm -hmm. so for example if like the vegas thing you do mm -hmm. right and it's a single friend that wants to sleep around the whole weekend and you're just there watching he might, you might, I'm not saying you will, but now you're around that and it can cause more temptation. It can, you might get involved one night and not even realize it. Like it could just influence things that you normally wouldn't kind of get involved in. That's like the single bad friend. Right. And, and, and even if it's not a trip, it could just be, let's say someone at the job could be like, man, I smashed this chick today. Well, we're going we to go to associate next, but just the friend right now. Well, because what's the difference between friend and... Because associates, like, you see somebody at a job that you oh, just okay. know. But as far as a friend being a bad influence, right? Mm hmm And the same vice versa for the women, yeah. right? You might have that girlfriend... That's that, sleeping around and you, like, don't want to hear it. Or want to go to the club and she's using you as... So I was in this situation because that's why you smiled. As a, as a third wheel, so as, I was a in, man, it, I was as a wing man, as a wing woman... I wasn't, I, I've been in some of these cases where Brandon used to be like, you don't even need to be going. Like, she just wants you to go because lots of times, and this would be the uncomfortable part was she's the single one, but I'm not. But the dudes will come in a lot of times, not just only me, but most times try to talk to me. And I'm like, well, my friend, <laughs> she's right here. She's available. But they're like, well, what about you? And or they'll see my ring. And then. And Brandon used to be like, maybe that's not the best scenario that you kind of put yourself in. And then now you and your friends start going through it. And then now you and your spouse start arguing. So you just got to be careful. And especially like the influence of going out a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, girl, let's go out this weekend. Hey, there's a game. Let's go out this weekend. Hey, let's do it's your birthday. Hey, it's girls night. Hey, it's this. Now, next thing you know, you don't went out three times that month. Forgot about your whole husband and kids. It's just not good. And that's another thing. Because now it starts causing friction with us. And you know what? That's the main right? thing I put with a friend. It, the friend really And they don't got to be a single friend. There'd be married friends out there that want to go out all the time because maybe they're... Their wife or spouse don't care. Their husband don't care how they hang out. And, well, I don't want to say that they don't care, care but they're, they're more... They're just in a different place yeah. that maybe... Maybe they're they're challenged on going out together. Maybe they don't like hanging out together. Maybe they're just in a bad space, or even if they're in a good space, 
The husband or likes they, to be social, or the wife likes to be social, and, and vice versa. Or they might be in that type of open marriage relationship where, oh, he can do what he wants, you know, I'm fine with it, you know. That's a lie. That, right? That's a lie. There's no such thing. I don't care if you're good or bad as a wife. You're going to be like, oh, he can go out every weekend or all the time, and I'm just home. What about certain hangout spots? Like certain mm, hangouts. Like spots. no strip clubs. We're not doing that. Right. Unless no. I'm there. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I'm there, <laughs> we're not doing the strip club. And, and so she's okay with him going to the strip club. Who is? The other wife or the she's friend. She's lying. She's a lie. That's, you know. She, this is, no. So if she, if she's allowing it, then he. Then what is she doing? Okay, I was just going to ask They're that. both doing their thing. Okay. So that's not even a marriage. Right. Like some of these relationships out here. And I'm not judging. I'm not like I'm just saying. Sometimes we have to really define what is the marriage. Or what about this? What about at a bar, right? Mm-hmm. But staying at a bar to like two thirty, three o'clock. <sighs> she knows where I'm at. I don't know. What do you think? Of, well, what do we do about that? Do you? You think you you don't really like. T- to I, hang know, out. Not, not to put Brandon on blast like that, not to be funny, because I know someone's going to be like, he does want to stay out, but you just don't let him. No, pause, because <laughs> actually, I don't even mind as long as, I, as long as he comes home and gives me some. Like, let's just be real with it. And he's clean, because I'm not about to have, I'm not saying he's doing this, but if there's guys out there that are creeping, you want to make sure they're clean. But in communication, Brandon knows that you just communicate with me, even if it's a text. You know, 12, 1 o'clock, or like, come on, you go to the bathroom, guys. You can text your wife. So, that's where I came in with the friend. What do you think about that? Um, like I said, as long as you communicate. Not no going to eat afterwards and coming home at 4 o'clock. <laughs> like, if you plan to go to eat after the hangout, you need to leave at 12. <laughs> and then go eat and then come home at 2. Not no leave at 2 and then come home at 4. Yeah. Like, we're not doing that. Because, like, my grandma used to say, the only thing happening after she really used to be, like, 12, 1 o'clock is them legs being spread somewhere in the streets. <laughs> my grandma used to say, just like that. So, that's not happening. So. But what do you, what do you, what do you feel? What I feel about coming late. Yeah. Well, like, you know, I think, I think there is a time restriction. And I'm not saying that, you know. It's not no curfew or it's nothing. It's not no curfew. It's just, I feel that you should be respectable. Respectful. You're right. And respectful in the time that you come home to your spouse, even though you go out and have a good time. Now, if you're out there hanging and it's a guy's trip, whatever, mm-hmm. that's yeah, it's a, a little different. different situation. But if you going out and you left your wife, and that's another even thing. Even though, and that's don't a, get it twisted, when Brandon made his trips, I still taught him to call me after. I don't care what time it is. Even if it's Vegas time, Cali time, Alaska time, Europe. I don't care where he's at. After the fact, call me regardless. Matter of fact, videotape me. That's I'm that wife. Yep, sure am. And I'll be like, hey guys, sleep in the background. That's me. Because I don't know. I'm not saying I don't trust Brandon, but I don't, I don't know, man. I don't tell scenarios. Listen. And then depending on who he's with, nah. Nah, it's like this. So... <laughs> If you hit, if you keep a good open communication, then I feel that it's fine, you know. Um, but the main thing what I put with a friend is bad influence in certain mm-hmm. types of hangout spots, mm-hmm. and that's the thing. And where, outfits. Yep, I said it. Well, yeah. When Brandon Spe- goes especially, out, especially no, it's more of the women. No, outfit. when Brandon, especially if he's out of town, and he po- listen. Let me tell y'all, man. Oh, I'm a, I'm a be nice when I'm dressed Husbands. up. Regardless this is the number one rule when you're about to go out and you're not with your wife on a trip. See, on a guy's trip. see this is the restriction part. This is the rule, right? It's no If rule. you're about to go out with your guys on a guy's trip, it's fine. Great. Of course, that's the point. Do not. Do not capital, like in capital. Post a picture of how good you look without your wife seeing your outfit first. That's a big no no. Oh, without seeing it first. Yes. Okay. I he's he he's forgotten sometimes, and I'll be like, oh, let me see Instagram, and it's like, oh, that's my husband, looking fine, and his dingling all out, and I didn't nah. I didn't even get the I didn't even get the picture, nah. I didn't even get the video. I I real quick message him like, no, I call, forget the message. 
I'm like, dude, you wearing those pants tonight? Yeah, I'm wearing those pants. He wear and that's and that's a number rule number two. We need to have these rules on these strips, guys. No. Okay. Rule number two, for the husbands, you guys cannot be going out with your things all out. Nobody had their things out. You know, husband, stop it. You know what pants makes your thing look very out, mm-hmm. especially if you packing. Because if you don't got nothing to show, then it's different. But I'm grateful for my husband, and I'm grateful God gave him some good stuff. So when when he puts he and and Brandon knows it's certain pants that he knows that because he wear he be like ooh what do you think babe no, and he I, does all that no, and I'm like listen, no we're not we're listen, not taking those listen I can take those pants it's like if I go out with the with the uh what do you call them camel toe uh, yeah the pants that you be like no nah, we're not wearing that all right so look especially Anyways. women that you know y'all can wear them shorts. Shorts and I don't even know dresses. But anyway, so the main thing is how this becomes toxic. How this could become toxic in your relationship. And I said mainly with the friends is the hangout. And this is the one thing that happens. Especially with, the single one when you go out. Because he wants to show out his thing more. The married one doesn't as right. much because the wife, you know. But anyways, go ahead. It's mainly the hangout. And why I say the hangout is because you get to that point of you might be hanging out with your boys or you might be hanging out with your girls. And then this is where the complications when you don't call or communicate. Or the hangout is a girl hangout spot. Yeah. So like you like this is a spot where it's like three guys at the bar and like 15 women. Yeah. So it's it's a. <laughs> Especially it's, Atlanta. It's the communication, right? And you're like, oh, jump. I forgot to call. Or you didn't call. And just, you know, be aware of certain things. That's why I said, you know, it's mainly the hangout mm-hmm. when it comes to friends. And so long as you communicate, I think that right there, you can avoid that toxic situation. Because when you don't call or you don't communicate, now you and your spouse are arguing. Mm-hmm. Over the phone, or when you get home, and no, you're not getting on. that night then turned into something extra than it was supposed to be, right? Mm-hmm. So that's the one thing that I I say right there, and that's when friends can be a bad influence. Well, what about the friends, the bad influence with the type of conversations? Well, that's what I'm gonna get into with next because I didn't want to put that all on the friends, right? Why not? That's the well, main one. I know that they have that, but I'd rather go move on to associates. When his friends don't have inappropriate conversations? Not saying that, but I think associates bring up those type of conversations. Well, maybe for guys, because it's different for women. Yeah. Okay. Associate is not going to just randomly talk about some dude D. The friends, single maybe more friends, or even a married one that is going through an issue, you might get more explicitness. Mm-hmm. So why do y'all do acquaintance and not friends? I don't think so. Well, because, see, I feel like associates don't really have any ties to the conversation. So they'll talk about anything. Maybe that's just your people. You know. So <laughs> I I said so I said to talk about... And maybe they think they're your friend and you're categorizing them as associates. All right. So <laughs> this is what I said. They'll talk about certain topics that brings no value into your life. And then they'll trick you by asking you an uh, opinion mm. and then flip the conversation. Explain. Because give me a life scenario. Okay. So, you know, they might say something like, you know, um, they'll bring up something like, uh, do you and your wife have one bank account together? And they're like, well, I think it should be 50 50. Oh, are you talking about that type? Yeah. And you like so then they're giving the three cents because they're not even married. Yeah. And they're like, well, I think it should be 50 50. And you're like, well, no, I think it should be one account. And they're like, well, whatever you bring into the relationship, now they're kind of playing like devil's advocate to the conversation. Mm-hmm. And so now sometimes you might get in to trick oh to God. playing into the role of a mm-hmm. conversation that's not bringing no value. Or they might say something in the extent of, yes, baby. They might say something in the extent of, well, why do you got to ask 
your wife, can you go here? Or oh, why you got it? And now, you know what I'm saying? Those be good ones. Those be good ones. And then you start thinking to yourself, like, hold up. You get back to, like, thinking. And you're like, man, maybe I should, you know. <laughs> I did want to buy the shoes. Why well, gotta ask her to buy some shoes? Yeah, well, and then know? next thing you know, you're buying the shoes the next day. Yeah, and now it don't cost the whole. And now this. what happens with associates? They flip the conversation mm. to make you feel that you're entitled mm. to whatever. Mm, mm, mm. You know, and that's even hanging out or going out with the associates. Hey, all the all the um people at the work, we going to you know. To have lunch on Friday. You coming? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know how those work lunches go on Fridays. Or the Brandon movie. be like, I really don't want to go, oh, but I don't oh, want to say no. You know how those work lunches go on Friday or that happy hour. Hey, man, we going to happy hour after work. You know what I'm saying? You coming? The wife say you could come? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> your, your husband be cool with that? Mm-hmm. But then... That after hour turns into an after after hour. And next thing you know, you're not home till seven o'clock, and I'm dealing with the kids around seven, and we have a whole argument. Mm. Then you're feeling nice, so now I'm more mad. Yeah. So, you know, that can be some toxic, and that can be infected, right? Mm. That can be an infectious symptom that brings that type of topic. You got your elbow just covering up my hand. I'm trying not one. to be. I'm going to fix it real quick. But you, you bring in that type of infection energy. energy into your relationship. Right, mm-hmm. and that's like really bad that you know now you got outside people that don't even know what's going on the dynamics of your marriage or your relationship, and they bring your stuff like that into your marriage, you right. know, and now you're questioning certain mm-hmm. things in your marriage. Mm. Then I then that's when your spouse is like, we wasn't even arguing about this forever. Now all of a sudden you want to bring this up. So and so must have told you something, or because we be knowing. Man. Or you, or or for women, this is this associate right here, girl. My man did this and da 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 da, da. and mm. then you bring it home like, hey, have you ever um, uh, you question me about the the situation she got going on in her house, mm. and I'm like, nah, and you like, you sure you haven't? And now you doubting me because she's like, well, her man said every man does that. Mm-hmm. Every man, people. every man, you know, you know, does something that they don't tell their wife or do this. <laughs> and he's like, do you do that? And right. now I'm like, no. And then you like, now nah, I turn you. So you have it never. <laughs> and so now that associate then brought something into our household from your job. Or friend. I think it's friend. friends. But okay. And now we arguing about something. Mm-hmm. That has nothing to do with our relationship. I just be ignoring Brandon sometimes when he comes in with that stuff. Now I just be like, Brandon, we was not even talking about this. Ain't nobody got time for that. So you know, that's a, one thing about you know having toxic people. Mm-hmm. How do you combat, or how do you not get involved in these type of situations? Even though they might be your friend or they might be an associate, how do you not get involved into that? Well, I've been, I've gotten to the point that I'm really direct with people now on certain scenarios that normally I would be like, yeah, sure. Now I'm just like, girl, you tripping. Brandon would not be having that nonsense. And that's it. Close, shut it down. And so they, so then you might try to shut it down, but they keep going on about it. That's you know, not happening. You can you can shut something down and it's like, girl, you don't believe that, do you? And they got you questioning yourself. You know what I'm saying? I had, actually, push- I had a, I had a scenario like that. This was I think maybe maybe years ago, months ago. I don't know. Somebody said um, something about like you going out or something, and I was like, uh, Brandon likes to chill at the crib, and they were like, and it was a and it was a female, so wife. Um, and there, I think it was a few or maybe one. I don't know. They were like, well, you know, he's a dude. He wants to go out with his guys and he wants to do this. And I was like, yeah, but B kind of likes to be home. Like, he's a homebody. Like, he's okay with not turning up every weekend or every month or whatever. And they're like, well, make sure that it's not just you not letting him. And, and I was like, 
Remember I asked you one time? Mm-hmm. And I was like, babe, you know you can go out, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know you can, like, hang out and stuff. And you were like, yeah, no, I, I'm good, though. Like, so, um, so I kind of left that alone. But then it was brought up again, I think, later on. And they were like, yeah, maybe he does want to go out or maybe this. Because I brought up a scenario about you, your friend asking you to go out. And you kind of was like, oh, I'm not too sure. And then you were like, sure, why not? So then, at my, so then at that time, my friend was like, see, maybe he did want to go. He just... And I was like, no, I don't think it's that. But, and you know, it is what it is. And I was like, and at the end of the day, uh, my husband doesn't mind being at home hanging out with his wife. Because I said that because it's a scenario where certain spouses don't realize that maybe their spouse does not like to be home and hang with them. Like their hangout is to get away from the house. Just being real because some wives are, are annoying or like I used to be nagging and used to not want to be here. You know, some uh, some females are still like that. And the husband is like, I need to get away. I'm going out with my guys. Yeah, and I, and I agree with that. At times, you know, sometimes you want to go, go away and hang out with your guys and your boys. And, you know, not vent, but just, you know. Just have guy talk. Just have guy talk. And but it's very seldom when you're at a happy home with a comfortable spouse like remember we talked about this a while ago we were watching a movie or something and i was like is it bad that we just watch movies together all the time and don't go out with our friends remember we were Mm -hmm. (laughs) and you were like no like because we chilling like we have good company and this is before pregnancy so like we can even have drinks you know we can play games and we enjoy each other's company. We enjoy laughing and having fun. Not to say that you don't need friends, yeah. but it doesn't have to be a scapegoat every month, every weekend, every time. You know? But, so I'm going to get into these last... So you got to move the toxic information out your face. Yeah. So me, the way I use it as far as friends and associate, I divert the conversation or I put it into a positive type of conversation. Oh, no, well, I, I know before there was a time you mentioned to a friend it was, like, not a nice scenario, and you kind of were just straight, <laughs> I guess you got upset. Or well, not upset, I guess you got, I, I think, annoyed that it was just kept being a topic, mm-hmm. and you were like, nah, that's messed up, like, you don't do that to your wife, like, that's kind of messed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you just told your friend, like, or acquaintance, or whatever you want to call yeah. him, and you just kind of was like... No, that's kind of messed up. That's your wife, but that should be. And you kind of got into, maybe that's how you diverted it. Mm -hmm. You kind of got into the value of the wife and the relationship and the growth. And you were like, you need to have that. Because I guess they, they, at the time, they don't or they didn't or whatever for them to understand what you were saying. Yeah, so usually when I come across... You look very comfortable. (laughs) Usually when I come across like something negative like that, I, I try to look for the positive in every negative situation or negative conversation. Um, you know, I try to look for, you know, something that brings value. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm at the point where I don't, I'm not talking about something that's really not bringing no value to my life. And I don't really want to hear nothing. Yeah. And it's good that's that. not bringing any value to my life. Cause it's like nonsense. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm entertaining something and it's kind of like, it's kind of like what you guys, everybody do. Like, when you scroll on Facebook or Instagram mm-hmm. for so long, after a while, it's just nonsense. Well, you also kind of got to the point where you, like, like you say, you diverted Into, in the sense of, like, okay, so if if you're not feeling my response, why are you not feeling my response? Yeah. Like, because I know I had somebody tell me a while ago, ow, I had somebody tell me a while ago, um... Oh, you just don't really understand because you and Brandon are in a good space right now. And I was like, what is that supposed to mean? And they were like, well, you know, you only see the good and the positive and the happy and the love and all that part of it. You're not really seeing the negative and the toxic and this, this and that. And I was like, but we've been through it. Oh, you know, not that exact situation who I was talking to, but we've been through a time that we were not. And that where we are right now. So that part kind of was like, why, you know, like, why would you? 
And, and it was times early. You get in, what I'm yeah, it was times early in our relationship where I didn't want to be around you. I, w- I, w- I was ready to but go. But that's what I'm saying. So it, for for people to see now, kind of to be like, oh, y'all don't, y'all just in a lovey dovey space. You, y'all don't no, get no, no. it. No, no, And, and it, it's like this too. Even I can still have my space and be in the same house with her now. See, before I had to get out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And I had to leave. Same house. Yeah, I had to leave. But we grown to the point where I could be in my part of the house and she could be in her part of the house and we'd get over it. You know what I mean? And oh, that, and we we st- and listen, don't get it twisted. Like we tell each other. Like I told him, uh, was it today? Yesterday, the other day, I was like, um, I'm not dealing with you today. Like I don't get out my face. <laughs> like I don't want to. I don't like because if not, I'll be really rude and I have an attitude and it's I'm not the nicest. And, and that's the thing. Um, another reason that, you know, as far as me, like, really hanging out is I I value my... Yeah, you didn't know. I value my marriage and my family life so much. To now. Me. Well, you always it, did. It, yeah, but, but I guess we weren't in this space. Yeah, and it's like... <laughs> it's funny because even when, like, me and her do trips, I'm the main one worried about the kids. Mm. More because he's the main one that's not with them all the time. And I then, know, not me. And then it's like when I go without you, I'm like worried about you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like when you, it's like now, it's not that I'm scared to go hang out. It's just that I don't want to be in, put in any predicaments or situation. Mm hmm. Being out there on a the late night watch, cause I used to be out there in the streets all the time, even before we got married. And I know, mm-hmm. I know what goes on after a certain hour. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, it, and and it's and it's not saying that everything bad happens at night, but it's saying that the darkness, the devil, yes, it does. You know what I mean? <laughs> you putting yourself at a lot of risk, <laughs> and I don't see like putting myself at that type of risk anymore. You know what I mean? I value. That's why I like chilling that out. I can chill at the house and have a drink and be cool and like, you know. Brandon will sit here and tell y'all all all day the pros and the cons of being at home when it comes to saving money, DUIs, accidents, crimes, temptation. Brandon could give you the whole breakdown. And and, and, and actually, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I got stopped not with a DUI, but I got stopped for... uh, they try to get me with a DUI, and guess what? That cost me about five grand. Ooh, that was rough. You know? And I cost, was with him, so that was your And target. that cost me five grand, and then I had to worry about getting harassed by the police at mm. the time. I didn't know if they were going to beat me up the way they pulled me over and had the dogs on me or whatever. But I was there. You know, those type of situations I try to avoid, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And not be in that situation. Look at your muscles showing on my, on my video. Uh, but the next thing, um, the next two, because I want to Yeah, go let's ahead go next, because uh, my, my leg. All right. Let's, let's, Where are we at? Let's go to the 30 next. minutes. All right. So the next two toxic hey, people. Well, if, y'all ch- if y'all just hopping on, where are you guys hopping on from? Tell us what you think about toxic relationships um, around your marriage or relationship. Or, or do they even exist? Do you have some? Do Are they still there? So the next topic person, the toxic person, we're going to relatives. <laughs> mm. Have you or do you feel like you're married to two people? Hmm. Huh? I think this is everyone. Right? Do you feel like, because I know I feel it sometimes. There it goes, Brandon. There it I goes. Feel like, I feel like I'm married. Sometimes I feel like I could be married to Jen and her mom. Right? <laughs> and they bring, and, and, and not Where are my Spanish that, people in the building? Can y'all tap in and <laughs> help me out here? It's, it's a Spanish it's thing. Like, it's like sometimes that, that energy comes into our household and I just have to act Let me like... Let my Spanish folks. I have to act like that energy don't even exist. But I know it does. Right? It does. So... He's gotten really good at it. Being involved in that, you know, and you know, it's now that you feel like you have to make two people happy instead of just making your spouse happy. Mm, that's good. And that brings a lot of toxic into your relationship. And now it turns into a competitive 
battle between mm. the attention, the emotions, mm. the love, the care, what you do for me, what you do for them. You know, it's real. It's real. How, how does especially if you're the only child? It's, it gets rough. I, I I sometimes don't like it. Like I tell Brandon and my mom sometimes, like I don't like being in the middle. I don't like it. It was a time that I was like, I'm not even talking to none of y'all because there would be so many cases that I would be in the middle with them or my mom or him. I just was like, I'm not doing this. Or the same thing, vice versa. You know, that's coming from her aspect with the mom, but vice versa with her being the only sibling, me and my brother, the way me and my brother connect sometimes or we do certain things and then it brings like, Y'all just planned the whole thing without me or did a situation without me. Y'all y'all decided to do it without me. Mm-hmm. And now she's feeling left out. And that used to happen a long time ago. You know, well, it was not, rough. It was, it, especially in the beginning of our marriage. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But at that time, you also were not as respectful in the sense of your wife mm-hmm. and first and priority. And that's when, of course, you first get married. You're still learning boundaries, priorities. You still like in that stage, and the family's still kind of trying to understand. Like, oh, now we have a seat back. Now it's not us. Now and that that deals with and see, this is the thing because Jen is the only child. So if you got a brother or a sister, how they feel like you took them away. You took them away because you grew up and you've been with them all your life. You mm-hmm. grew up with them. You talked to them about everything. And now that you got, you know, a wife or a husband, it's not that y'all lost that connection, but it's like, dang, you got to ask your husband or now you got to ask your wife, like... It's a scenario where you have, you kind of, instead of, oh, let me call my sibling first, is, oh, let me call my wife first. Mm -hmm. And the sibling and the spouse also have to understand that shift. Yeah. Um, But sometimes they don't understand. They're like, I'm your brother. I'm your sister. mm -hmm. Like... I was there before her, mm. you know. Classic. How does that work out? Um, nothing. Or just, different. We, or we, different. we used to argue, and every now and then, like I used to listen. It, it's even, and it, it's not like it's going away. But there's scenarios, like Brandon said, I'll tell him, like, do you see that we're arguing because of your situation? You haven't noticed that every time we argue is because of this situation, and he sometimes he still don't see it. But I'll be like, mm, "We're arguing again because of that." Like we wasn't even discussing this. Was, this wasn't even an argument. This wasn't in the like, plans. You know what? It's, that's the worst. I'm like, why are you serious? So that's hard because now you have your spouse looking at the sibling in a bad way, and now your spouse, which was me, looking at his sibling in a bad light because I'm like dude every time this person comes around it's always a situation me and Brandon are arguing about so I don't even want the person around so now it flips yeah right it's real it flips so you know you have those relatives that can also get involved and then you might have that cousin that's a bad and sometimes influence. family don't even realize it or you know right and and, I, and you would get around certain family Members where they always got something to say, they got something to say, or guess what? It takes you back to the old version of you, mm. right? It takes you back to the old version of you. That's why you that's why you laughing. <laughs> like, it's like you go back to the old you, which when you get with the family, he's like, you know, it's with my family, and it's like, man, or, or it could be the opposite. Like, I have some cousins, and they know. When we all be together, they're the ones that bring up the old you. Yeah. My cousins do. I'm like, yo, do we have to talk about this? Like, this is my husband. We're married. Like, do we have to get into this conversation about how many bum ass dudes I used to date? Like, do we have yeah. to do this? Yeah, and now it's like, and well, oh, really? Jen did this and yeah. Jen did that. And I'm like, okay, are we done? We're, and, then, and then don't put drinks in the mix. My cousins would just be going in because they never liked my exes. They, like... Literally none of them, I don't think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they didn't really like them, and they all love Brandon. So here they go bashing all the scenarios. Yo, I hate this dude, and I'm like, and what she did this, this, and she did that, and I'm like, 
Okay, right. we're done talking. So, you know. Toxic cousins. I'll be like, okay, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. Because then I bring them, it's like, you were telling me about that situation. Yeah. Who is this person? I'm like, oh my god. Or gosh. bringing up stories that you never heard about your spouse. Because my cousins would do that. And you like, oh really? When did this happen? And how did that play out? That yeah, happened to yeah, us. By you the way, know what I mean? On so, <laughs> so you can have those toxic relatives that play a part into your. What about those single relationship uh, toxic family members? Oh. Uh, mm, what girl, about those? What about the ones that just got baby daddies, baby mamas, and don't believe in marriage or just. Like to be saying funny stuff around you and your spouse, and you're like, oh. And they don't have no type of spiritual guidance. Nothing. I remember it was a case. We had it with some of B's family, and I think is it. I think you and I think Brandon might be one of the only ones that is with one baby mom slash wife. I think. I don't know. I gotta. We gotta go down the list (laughs) (laughs) because I know my family. It's one baby daddy and mama, but they're not married. So, you know, similar cases. So we were at a party and it was a scenario where some of his peoples was like, not for marriage, like anti-marriage and living their best life and having all these times and doing this and doing that and no God and no, it was just a lot of happening. And I'm standing there like, you sure you don't want to get married? Like, (laughs) why not? It's a great thing. I love your cousin, I love your nephew. Like, why are we doing this? Like, are you saying, right. no, what happened for you guys? But you know, I can't do that no more. It's too many, too many people out in this world to be living with just one. And, and I'm like, oh my God, this is really happening. And like, even even like with your, you know, with your dad, like, and my mom, they're like, nope, ex-marriage. Yeah. Like, like his dad is like, I'm doing my best life, like, doing what I want. Single. My mom is like, I don't want no crazy Bad, oh, man. bad man. I'm like, why he gotta be crazy and bad? Or why can't it be a good guy? Like, and that's what I'm saying. So toxic. So I can't even talk to my mom sometimes about marriage or when or she, love or private. Or, or when mm-hmm. she want to do things for me, and she be like, why are you doing that for him? Or you know, or the way she loves on me. She like, <laughs> and say even when he, I remember one time, um, the him and his his dad. I forgot. He was still talking about something. And he was like, maybe you need to talk to your wife about this or something. It was a while ago. And you brought it up to me. And I was like, why would he say that? Like, talk to me about what? I talk. I think it was because how I talked or my attitude or how I said something to me or how I came off with the kids. or I don't even remember. And I was like, who's, who's talking to me? Oh. And then and then you I remember, remember, and then your dad did say something to me one time. I was like, no, that's just the way I talk to do what I do. And just brushed it off. Because I wasn't going to argue first with his dad. That's not what we do. Two, I'm just not going to bring this argument in our marriage. Because if he has a problem, Brandon tells me. And he does. Most of the time, he'll be like, yo, that's not how you do it. But that was the influence. Because I think your dad called you and was like, hey, you need to talk to your wife about how she did this. And that kind of... I think it was something with the kids. I think so. And I don't even know if you did or if you paid any mind. I don't even remember, but it's still an influence. You right. know what I'm saying? Because now your your mind is like, well, maybe I do got to talk to my wife. Or maybe just to show off for dad, like, let me do this. or you know. So then it becomes and, a mixed thing. And then it could be also influence, especially when you're about to get married, if you got those parents that are really into your life on influence, like, you should have married that other girl. I don't know why you married. Or you should have married that other dude. Or, right. You know. I don't know what you see in her. I don't know what you see in him. <laughs> and why'd you do that? And that was just dumb. And now it's playing with your mind and stuff like that. Which happened to you us know. too, by the way. So that happens a lot too far as relatives being a negative influence that's bringing toxic into your relationship. Mm-hmm. The last one we want to get into is the negative spouse, the toxic spouse, right? I think we should talk about a toxic spouse in the night because that's a big topic. Mm. They never how, see. Well, tell me. They never see nothing positive in any situation. That's a toxic spouse, mm. right? So with that, I don't even know if that's one of the topics. It, it it is because you know 
Right, we got five minutes to discuss a whole. It is, but we can go over it a little bit, a little. No, I know. I want to know what you got. What you think? It's just like this. Your spouse, like I said, I talk about this all the time. You should be complimenting each other. Y'all should be competing on your own competitive table. But here's, but here's the catch, Brandon. The catch is, and this is what I get from a lot of people. But what if you're not in a good pace? Like, what if you and your husband are not good? What if you and your wife are not getting along? What if you're just bad, period? What, like, and that's one of the reasons why I think this is so good that we talk about these topics and that one day we'll have our, our marriage conference like I want to do because the whole thing of, well, what if you're not good? What if this? What if that? And my thing is, Okay, well, what can we do to get you good? Like, what can we do to have these, like you said, not toxic person in my life and this work on us? You get what I'm saying? Because sometimes we can talk about all these things, but then you have that one spouse that is listening or watching that can be like, I'm changing this because all they talk about is how they love each other. They're so great. Everything is fine. But they don't understand how, you know, my wife don't listen or how my wife don't submit or how my husband don't you know, pray with me or how my husband doesn't want to go to the park or so then now they're dismissing the whole topic. You get what I'm saying? And not realizing one is toxic or both are toxic. And then there's scenarios where they're trying to figure out how to even get the tox what's that word? Toxicity Uh out of the marriage. Right. So that's that's the scenario. But anyways. Yeah, so (laughs) so you have these toxic people that are in your in your life and either you can learn how to divert what if I have one for a spouse what's that that my uh, I talked to someone a while ago and they mentioned to me which was so good they mentioned having peace in their life without their spouse and I was like wow that's so good that's so profound she like cause they're married and she had to stay, take a step back because she wasn't having peace with herself, her life, and things were not that good with them. Because it was so toxic, and she noticed it. So when she stepped back, and she they're separated, right? And I'm like, what are you guys, you know, how's it going, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, I'm at peace. Like, I like, <laughs> I like not being in that scenario. And I was like, so then maybe you shouldn't be married. <laughs> <laughs> so they separated they got a divorce or no. they, they just separated yeah so separation that's another topic to talk about too separation how do you deal with separation when is it time to come back or, write that down you know yeah cause that's what I everything you just asked I asked I asked them I was like so what is the goal what's the plan <laughs> when are y'all like is it like getting back is it not like what is you know what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing? What is this? The time and, limit? And, and they're like, one wants to, to come back, the other one doesn't. And guess what? The one that wants to come back is the toxic one. <laughs> and the one that doesn't is the one that's like at peace, living her best life. Because you don't want to get full. You don't want to get tricked. That's exactly what happened. You don't want to get tricked back into getting back into the toxic. So then what? Into... So then what do you do? So. Like, how long? And this is what we should talk about in that scenario. How long is the separation? Because there's people that two, three years separated. Yeah. And, and then live in separate, like, for real. like, And I'm like, that's not marriage. But they really got to truly, truly show how much they value. In the process of steps of counseling yes, and togetherness yes. and dating and... Getting back with God, the relationship, a whole bunch of and stuff. And if it's that. not happening, then, like I told my people, it's like, you're not... The steps are not being done. So this... Separation is gonna be life. So the thing about and she's it, like, well, that I'm okay. If the, and, and if the separation, the steps are not happening, you do have a time limit. Mm-hmm. Don't think you're gonna be separated for two years, right? And nothing is happening. And nothing at the most, and even a year is a long time. Yeah, a year is a long. And then are you time being? In, and then that's oh, another question: Do, Are you even being intimate and having sex with, 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 with the partner? Yes, right. Or are they able to go? If after you that? separate, you not having. We we not supposed to be having sex. Supposedly, we not. You so not. Then what are you doing? We, we not having sex. We getting ourselves together. Okay, but what are you doing for your sex? 
not doing nothing. So you're not even like using your hand? No. Why? <laughs> because this is a time that... So you just not, the whole year not supposed to get get your Listen. Nothing. Separated. Okay, we write this down. That's a whole topic. Yeah, separate, the whole year, dude, I'm pulling out all the tricks and listen, toys or something. If you want to get back to having that sexual intimacy, mm-hmm. you should be wanting to get back with one person. And they can't. And you and not you're not supposed to go elsewhere. No, and this is the thing. Chime in, my people. Please is, chime this in. Is, this is the thing, and to get back into. The garage, you have to show initiative in taking those steps. Vice versa with the woman. She can't just come That's over there. That's why we can't there. separate. Stop that prayer. They come give me no, something real quick. See, you can't come up. No, because we're not moving forward. One, once a month at least come we're through. We're not moving forward. Well, matter of fact, we'll meet up at a telly. Just to make it. Thin. Nah, that's not moving <laughs> forward. That's not moving forward. We we still in the same zone. Well, this is what I had. Well, we not we not doing that anyway. So exactly. So that would be in the same zone. You are not moving forward. We still being intimate and we separated. That's true. You know what I'm saying? We just going back and forth playing these games. The separation. Separation. <laughs> is a time to heal. Let, no. No, yeah, you gotta heal. Like, no, go through the process. This, separation is not a time to heal. Separation is a time to decide are we gonna ride Can this you thing? Stuff down because we need to hold. This is, we gotta go. Se- separation is are my we legs go- is cramping. Up. Are we gonna ride this out together? Oh, I'm gonna ride it out. No, 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 no. <laughs> are we? Are we gonna? Are we gonna make this work? Is it worth making this work? That's you, what it do is. Do you want to make? Can you write this down? Do you yeah. want to make it work? Do you want to make it work? Anyway, so that's it for tonight, y'all. Because my feet is cramping up. We're getting to a whole nother separation topic. Topic that yeah, it's not. We're not. We're talking toxicness, which that led to it because the husband or wife is toxic, and you gotta go. Yeah, you gotta separate. So negative talk, negative vibes, negative energy. The way you keep this toxic. No, away. no communication. Listen. The way you keep this toxic, and this is the ultimate solution. Did you shave? Yeah. I just noticed that. The way you keep this toxic and the solution is, for one, number one, you pray about it. The way you keep it toxic? Keep this toxic away from you. Oh, okay. Number one, you pray about it. Number two, you deal with yourself in a positive attitude and mindset. Mm Mm-hmm. You keep a positive... And number three, you always see the positive... In that person. In the bad things that come with mm, that person. That's good. And you bring that out of that person. You make that more powerful than the negative that they bring it into you. You overpower that conversation with positive mm. conversation. And you don't play into the negative situation. You don't so play the question into the negative is, conversation. So, you don't play into the negative... Wait a minute. So who's the t- okay? And this is the last thing. So who's the toxic one though in the relationship though? Is it the one that's saying the negative things or the one that's doing the negative things? It's both. Because if you if you if you saying negative stuff and you do it, more likely you act on what you speak. So like when we were going through it. So when I used to be like, you're not doing this, you're not doing that, you're not doing that. I'm toxic. Yes. And then when you used to like not do it and not give a crap. And life goes on, and that means you were right because you remember you can't place blame on nobody until you place blame on yourself. Mm. Don't place blame on anybody until you can point the finger at yourself. That's good, that's how it goes. That's establishing leadership, that's establishing you know, being a leader at Mm. leading yourself. Um, we need to do another toxic night <laughs> for the spouse because it's a lot to discuss and we got to go. It's 45 minutes and my legs is cramping up. So I so, hope y'all had great value. I hope it this was brought a great some topic. great I'm topic. I'm you, Brother yeah. Barker. I hope y'all got some value from this. Mm-hmm. I hope this, you know, help you out. Like I said, these are some solutions to just get away. Get to, or the last thing result, you got to get away from that person. It either it, and and you're talking in general. In general, like family, and, 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 friends, and, 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 acquaintance, and, and, and it's nothing wrong, right? Right, and family, friends, acquaintance, 
lover. Yeah, Fa- spouse. Family. No, friends, associates, mm-hmm. relatives, spouse. spouse. You gotta get okay. away. You gotta get away. Or and cut them off. And, and that's right. It's nothing wrong with saying, hey, do you know. Girl, bye. I told my mother one day, like, girl, you're too negative for me today. Right. You gotta go. Right. It's nothing, you gotta wrong, go home it's today. nothing wrong with telling that person, like, look, <laughs> I don't feel where you're coming from. You see, did that. You did that to see, me. See, that's what you said. I don't feel where you're coming from. And I'm not going to feel where you're coming from because I'm not in that space that you're in. So this friendship, I'm going to have to back off until you bring some positive towards my way. Mm. That goodness towards my way. And Brandon, you got tried that, to talk Brandon about. tried that on me one time. And I was then, like, you know about to be negative. You're like, yes, you are. I'm and then we can, we can go, go back to, you know, where things are, you know. Well, like I said, I hope this brought value to you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in. It is getting kind of late for the wifey. She had her lecture. You know what I'm saying? I need a nap. Yep. So, I'm um. I'm going to be up at, what time? Midnight? One o'clock? What you mean up for that? Make some money. So, um. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Follow us on Marriage Porn on Instagram. MarriagePorn.org.in Pure, open, renew, and navigate, guys. Thank you again. Follow us on YouTube. You can look at the QR code if you're on me or Jennifer Page. We have our QR code up we with do? yes, up with the description of different topics. I will be reposting this also on my Facebook, and Jen will have it on her Facebook as well, so you can rewatch this again if this brings any value to you guys. Hopefully, it do. Um, hopefully, it does bring value to your marriage, to your relationship understanding how to keep them toxic people out of your life mm. so you want me praying that or you because it does go into your marriage i want right. you to understand the goal of tonight was that brandon was talking about is toxic toxic what is it toxicity toxicity can go and linger and can break the spirit in the marriage in the marriage like for real for real yep. um positive or negative so right. you can take the person out be positive or go along with it. And now it's influencing your marriage and it's no bueno. Right. Because I've... Mm, let's go. Pray. <laughs> uh, what's that? Oh, that's a lot of stuff you can Okay. Yeah, some apps. Yeah. All right. You want me to pray or something? I'm going to pray. I really want to do because you did last time, right? Yeah. Okay, Father God, thank you for this great call. Thank you for Brandon's wisdom. Thank you for guiding us tonight and speaking through us and to us for others that if any uh, marriages or relationships are struggling out there with any toxicness around them or with them or near them that you help them out and bring more positive in their lives that you bring marriages together that you empower them if anyone needs help that you're able to guide them and talk to them lord um protect us cover us that we have a blessed night and a blessed week in jesus name i pray amen 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 amen. good night y'all good night